WikiLeaks' Julian Assange dropped a bombshell when he suggested that murdered DNC staffer Seth Rich was one of the sources of the DNC email leak. But was he one uh, of your sources then? I mean... We don't comment on who our sources but are. Why but why make the suggestion about a young guy being shot in the streets of Washington? Because uh, we have to understand uh, how high the stakes are. Rich was killed in mysterious circumstances in Washington, D.C. Shot in the back. He wasn't robbed of his cell phone or wallet. WikiLeaks has offered $20,000 for information leading to the conviction of his killer. But could Assange himself be the next victim of the Clinton body count? The day after Assange implied that Rich's murder was connected to Hillary Clinton, WikiLeaks posted a couple of very strange tweets. One was a video of former Hillary Clinton strategist Bob Beckel expressing his desire to see Assange assassinated. I mean, a, a dead man can't leak stuff. This guy's a traitor, a treasonous, and, and, and he has broken every law of the United States. The guy ought to be, and I'm not for the death penalty, so if I'm not for the death penalty, I only want to do it, illegally shoot the son of a b Another was a screenshot of a 2013 tweet by pro-Obama author and Politico journalist Michael Grunwald. I can't wait to write a defense of the drone strike that takes out Julian Assange. Do these tweets prove that Assange is telegraphing a warning about his own potential assassination by the Clinton crime family? What other explanation could there be? Why is he invoking the threat of his own murder the day after implying that murdered DNC staffer Seth Rich was the source of the DNC leak. Is Assange alluding to the threat of himself being targeted by the Clintons without outright saying it so as to avoid being labelled paranoid by the media? The notion of Assange being assassinated is starting to crop up more and more. Actor and conservative commentator James Woods even asked for the odds on whether or not the WikiLeaks founder would survive until the election. Remember, Assange has vowed to release more damaging intel on Hillary's links to ISIS, corruption within the Clinton Foundation, and vote rigging. We have upcoming leaks in relation to Hillary Clinton. You know, the emails we published show that Hillary Clinton is receiving constant updates about my personal situation. <laughs> yes, WikiLeaks would still continue releasing the info without Assange. But he's the face of it. He does all the interviews. Assange is WikiLeaks. He's what propels the leaks into the news headlines. Is this all just paranoia? Or should Assange have somebody testing his food before he eats it while he's holed up in the Ecuadorian embassy? Because Seth Rich isn't the only Clinton-connected individual to recently die in mysterious circumstances. John Ash was reportedly part of a scheme to funnel foreign money to the Democratic National Committee during the Clinton years. Just before he was set to testify against Clinton, Ash was found dead, apparently having crushed his own windpipe while lifting weights in his home. Sean Lucas was found dead on his bathroom floor despite being in good health. Lucas was the lead attorney in a fraud case against the DNC filed by Bernie Sanders supporters. Meanwhile, prolific anti-Hillary author Victor Thorne supposedly committed suicide from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Is this all just absolute nonsense? Thankfully, the answer is yes. The Clinton body count is just a conspiracy theory. So I'm sure Julian Assange will be perfectly safe. He came, he saw, he died.